Hello everyone, my name is Obi from Mamba Alpha Media and today we're going to be talking about how to use React to create an increment button. So the first thing guys, I suggest you go to boostwatch.com and you download this uh, this awesome uh, theme selector. You can go over there and just create, uh, select any boost, boost watch or bootstrap theme you want. I'm going to go with Vapor right now for this project. It's going to be pretty easy and short. So uh, uh, I suggest you also create the React application with MPX create React app. Uh, in the next video or another video, I'm going to show you how to start a React application. So for here, you go to counter.css and you uh, that's like where you put the CSS file. We just copied from the Boost Watch theme website. So right after this, you go to counter.js and you can actually use a snippet to start your functional component where you're going to put the where we're going to put the button the buttons for the increment decrement and the reset and that snippet we're going to use is called es7 the es7 snippet makes it really easy for us to just you know automatically put uh functional components like i said into our js file which allows us to use hooks which uh, we're going to use later on in this exercise. And the hook we're gonna to use today is called use state hook. So uh, right here we're gonna use RFCE, which is what you're gonna uh, use when you actually install the ES7 snippet. So you put RFCE and unless you get the you get the you get the automatic automated functional component down there and afterwards you import the counter.css page into that same file. So as I recommend when you make your components, you put your C your JS and uh, CS file in the same folder. And next, uh, you're gonna see me put like I'm gonna obviously put some div tags here. This is where we use Bootstrap to style our our application at the end. So later on, I'm gonna run the server with the npm start so you can actually see you know how react loads up so over here right now i'm gonna i'm gonna create like some divs where i'm gonna host our uh little project or little exercise so this is like the car text center this is like how you use how you stylize bootstraps a uh, bootstrap uh, you can get more information at the Boost Watch theme website. You can just go to documents and you can just find exactly, you know, what you're looking for. So when you go down again, you go to car body and you just keep, I, I'm going to create, this is my probably my last div I'm going to make. And this is just, uh, I want to use justify content center here. So I put everything together to fit right in the middle of the screen not too high not too low just right there in the middle and i'm going to put an h2 element here too i'm going to write a title you can put whatever title you want so it's going to be a button exercise with bootstrap next I'm going to run the server now. So we do npm start. And we're going to see. Yeah. Okay, npm start. I'm going to see the interview. I'm going to npm start. So on the left side of our screen now, I'm going to show you exactly how, you know, React, how awesome React is and how we can how it's just pretty responsive we're creating applications on the front end it's um, and it has a lot of libraries too that support it and a great community so i suggest uh learning react as well so um on the left side is where we're going to see what we just created with our theme and that's there you go that's how it looks uh don't mind the lines right now we don't want to use we're gonna uh, use our pay attention more to 
what the code is going to look like. So I'm going to go back to app.js and I'm going to uh, put that right there. I'm going to put it with a self closing tag. And we're going to go back again to the counter.js file. And we're going to start with the h1 where I'm going to put, or actually I'm going to use a p tag here, p, p tag. We're going to put the, the counter at the end of the exercise. So like, uh, so whatever, so the counter there will host every time the button is clicked, either we uh, incre increase a button or decrease a button. This is where we're going to see the exact uh, results. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I don't, I don't forget later on. So again, we're going to uh, go down again after this. And we're just going to create a button class with a event listener. Let's do on click. And we're going to put the increment there. That's how, that's what our button is going to be called. And I'm going to use bootstrap again to you know, bootstrap class to style or make the button come out to be the way I want it to look like. So on here, I'm going to use button button success and you can go back to the boost watch theme website and you can just go to preview and you can see exactly which which button you want to use you can use other ones you anyone whatever you want to whatever one you want to use you're free to use it so I'm going to use success here And I'm going to use this as well, MX3, because I need to give uh, some space between my my different buttons I'm going to have. Uh, without that, it looks kind of clunky and doesn't look, look really good. But you're going to see later on. So uh, so use the onclick function here for event listener. So anytime a button is clicked, we just know. If I'm going to use the set counter, that's going to be exactly what I'm going to use as a variable with my use state hook. So I'm going to do a const. I'm going to put two variables here, which are counter and set counter. I'm going to set use state to zero because we're going to start from that all the way up. So Back again, back to our button class. We're gonna put the counter plus one because I wanna increase by one. And I'm gonna copy and paste and just duplicate the same code. You don't have to code, I'll type every, everything up again. And I'm gonna just make this look a little bit better, a little bit more structure. And yeah, so we do a counter here with a minus one because we're gonna go down and we're gonna change the bootstrap class again to danger because we're going down. And the next one, we're gonna do a reset. We're gonna put that to zero. So counter, set counter will be zero there. Yep. And that's it. All right, you're gonna re you're gonna change that to primary, so that turns to the exact theme color. And yeah, so if you take out the MX3, you you see how the buttons look like that they don't look that good together. So you put that MX3 next to the class, so your buttons look a bit better. And you go so you can actually check what they look like here you can see what not wait when you click the button we can actually check with a console.log but actually no we don't have to do that anymore uh, we actually have that h1 up there I made that mistake so we can just fix we don't have to do that anymore because we did already have that 
instantiated already with the counter plus one and the button tag. So we just go straight up, straight up to the top. Skip this part. This is a. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. So it's already done already. So you don't have to do any console console log there. You just go back to the top what the p tag is and just put the pass that prop of counter from U state to see exactly what numbers we have. Every time you click that, click uh, you click the button. So we'll put counter there, and there we go. All right, I hope this was easy. It's pretty short. Hope it wasn't too slow. And yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna make it bigger now. You can just click, uh, when you click the increment button it goes up, the decrement button goes down, the reset button goes back to zero, and that's it. So yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make a video about fetching the API, and see you guys.